Hey everybody! Uh, following up on my video from yesterday in chronological order, uh, this is going to be my second video blog about the Caritas Internationalis General Assembly, de numero uno. Um, if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that the General Assembly kicked off today with the Mass at St. Peter's, celebrated by Pope Francis. Um, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, well, I just spoiled the ending. Um, Go watch it anyways, uh, so you know what I'll be talking about today and for the next few days. Um, actually, before the Mass this evening, all of the delegates and observers from Caritas North America, which is Canada and the U.S., um, got together to have a little power about what to expect at the General Assembly and also to come to a consensus about what we as North Americans want to bring to the Assembly and also get out of the Assembly. Um, and then, of course, the Mass. Oh, what can I say about the Mass? Um, to be honest, I don't really know at this point. Um, it was all so surreal and powerful. Maybe ask me in two months what I thought of the Mass, and then by then I might be able to put it into words. But for now, my awestruck silence uh, is just going to have to suffice as an explanation. Um, St. Peter's is clearly beautiful. Uh, the Mass was private for the Caritas group. Uh, all but the nave was blocked off for our group. Um, there seemed to be a group of tourists, though, standing uh, behind the fences of the nave, watching. Um, all of the priests and bishops who are here as Caritas delegates were invited to concelebrate with Pope Francis, so they led the procession in, and there were a lot of them. Um, then, of course, Pope Francis entered, uh, and there was such a buzz. Everyone was so excited to see him. The press were there, Vatican TV filmed it. Um, and it was really amazing to see how excited everyone gets to see him. Uh, it was a very traditional Mass. It was in Italian and Latin, so luckily I had the whole thing under control. Um, the music was gorgeous. Uh, I'll post some videos later on my Twitter so you can see. Uh, you can find them on my Twitter account. Um, and like I said yesterday, there's about 450 of us here at the General Assembly. So it was really such a moving and powerful experience to look around and a, B in St. Peter's, B, C, Pope Francis, and C, see this enormous collection of people from literally all over the world. Um, you know, different shapes, sizes, colors, languages, but for that little while, we were all completely the same. Just Christians participating in Mass and taking part in the Eucharist. So, hard to describe, but definitely beautiful. Uh, Pope Francis spoke in his homily about how Caritas essentially is the Church uh, and how it carries out the true mission of the Church, which is taking care of one another. Um, he spoke about how love is all about making room at the table, uh, and he really commended Caritas organizations for essentially being all about that, just making room at the table for all people, especially for the poor, uh, the outcasts, and the oppressed. Um, so that's essentially what Caritas does, and that's why he said that Caritas is the Church. Uh, and he spoke about how wonderful of an idea it is to have a world where everyone has a place at the same table. He said, que belle imagine. So that was kind of, kind of neat. Um, and really, actually, the more he spoke about it, the more animated he got. Um, you know, you have to remember, Pope Francis uh, is from Argentina. He's the first pope from South America, and he's a pope that comes from a place where not everyone is given space at the table. So he really gets it, and it was super nice that he took the time to kick off our assembly for us and to know that we have his support in our mission of creating a better world for everyone. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, one possible translation of Caritas, which is a Latin word, uh, is actually love. Caritas is love. Uh, and one of the things that I love about the Caritas Network, and a huge reason why I'd like to remain in it, is that you know that all, or most of the people who work with the Caritas organization are doing it out of love. I mean, clearly aid and development work is very interesting. You know, you get to travel, meet all sorts of people, solve tough problems. Um, but you get the sense here that that's not the primary reason why these people are here. Uh, you know, people are here, and myself included, because of a love that they have for God, and by extension, a love for his world and everyone in it. So it actually kind of randomly uh, reminded me of uh, a couple of months ago when I went to see Stevie Wonder play in Toronto with my mom and my brother, and he said something there that really struck me, and it's stayed with me ever since, and that's that 
there's so much that you can do with love, and especially if your heart's big enough that you can love everybody. And I really sense that here. Um, and that's why I have so much faith in the Caritas Network, because they're doing it not because they want to build a resume or learn as much as they can or rise any ranks to get any fancy titles. They're just doing it because they love. And love is such a powerful force that I think it can help you to do anything. So maybe I'll add a challenge to the end of this video. Uh, and that's to just, you know, go out and do your thing, whether it's in your job or at school or in your personal life or in your relationships. But whatever you do, do it with love in your heart and do it because you love. And I think that if we all do that, then we can all in our own little may make the world a little bit of a better place. So on that note, uh, I'll post a link to the song that Stevie Wonder introduced with that little nugget of wisdom. Uh, called If It's Magic, it of course being love. So give that a listen, and I will post another video tomorrow to tell you all about tomorrow's first full day of meetings, which is going to be very exciting. Adomani.